Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to mod Shadowverse uh, leaders, cards, emblems, voice, all that stuff. So first of all, for leaders and cards, you're gonna need three stuff. Unity EX, Unity Asset Bundle Extractor and either GIMP or Photoshop with the .dds extension. So, how to do it? Let's say I want to edit the card Adamantian Golem. First of all, what I'm gonna do is enter shadowversportal.com slash cards and search for the card. So, no, this stuff, search, found the card, I enter its page and here in its address there is a code. I copy this code and go to the Shadowverse folder. Shadowverse folder is gonna be in this location in users. You this will vary depending on your account and inside you will have these folders. The A is for all the art, for, so card art, the emblems, the leaders, all that stuff. You enter it, search for the number, and you get a bunch of files. The one you are looking for to mod card itself is card and the code. Effects, effect, BTL are the effects when you play, when you attack, all that stuff and UIEM is the emblem you choose uh, both M and S is, are basically the same thing, only S is smaller and but if you wanna edit those you need to edit both you can't edit only one so you copy the card go you go to a folder you chose before and doesn't matter where and you paste the card and make a backup if you don't make a backup and something goes wrong you're gonna need to download the, the card from the beginning which means download the whole game which is a bit of a bother so now that you have those, you go, open Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, and file, open, and go to the card you're modding. And they're gonna ask you to decompress, and I hit yes, call it whatever, I choose to call it A, doesn't really matter, press info, and here, looking for the texture 2d files what these are the ones that end with 0 0 is the art of the unevolved version 0 1 is the evolved 1 0 is the unevolved the effects png 1 1 is the effects of the evolved version effects i mean when it's animated you see all the, those animations these two are what govern it and log zero zero log zero one zero are both the ones you see when you open the side menu inside the game and you see the opponent played golem so this the little version of the art are those two don't forget to edit them for now, let's say I want to edit only the base card, the unevolved version. I select it, plugins, export to PNG, and export it. Now, when you make the actual mod, you can either make the card using Unity Asset Bundle Extractor or Unity EX. There 
basically Unity has to bundle extractor is a bit easier. However, it has many flaws. Mainly, you can't easily make an Android version and leaders won't work. So I'm gonna cover only the version with Unity EX. So, exit Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, open Unity EX, and leave it here for now. Now to edit the art, go into GIMP. Again, you can use Photoshop, doesn't really matter. Open the arts. This is the base art, and this is what I wanna replace it with. And make sure now the art you just extracted is this size. However, it's not the size of the actual in-game version. So what you're gonna do is scale image and change the width to. 848 that way it's closer to what the game is to what it is in the game some will so now that you have this you can just grab the image and mod it over uh, you want to make sure the height is at least this so you don't have any you don't mess anything uh, now you want the face of the character to be about where the face of the card itself is the reason is when you play the card you don't see the whole body you see only a portion let's say this size so you want to make sure that even after you modded the game, you can still see the, char the character's face. So, for easier time, instead of always guessing pretty much, you can turn the opacity to about 50. Move it a little. You don't have to be exactly on the spot, just more or less. For example, this should be fine you can always go back later to change it for now let's say it's fine you anchor it make sure you don't have anything on the sides so for example this isn't good it's gonna mess your mod but luckily it just crops on itself and now you have the art. You can scale it back to be this size. It doesn't matter why well, this matters, but it doesn't really matter whether it's this size or the original size, because the game is gonna is gonna resize it by itself. So for now I'm gonna leave it like that and switch to Unity EX. In Unity EX you wanna open archive, go to that card you're modding, open it, select everything and export selected. In the folder that comes up you enter and here you make another folder called textures now this art you just made you need to export as DDS but it needs its name needs to be exactly like the TEX file so here you see this is the art file when you save it, you need it to you need it to be called exactly like that, plus that DDS in the end. An easier way, an easy way, it's just delete everything up to this point and add TX D 
VDS in the end save it's gonna ask you a bunch of how compression and stuff make sure it's like this press ok and you're done with the GIMP go back to Unity EX import files god damn it import files and that's it now the original file this you modded is the modded version of the card to check copy go to the A folder and paste it with replace enter the game and now you see I opened the game before I modded it all you need to do to refresh the art is pass through a loading screen if you just click back and go back into the cards so it's a little like this you press back you see it's in a loading screen that's it the game updated itself and now when you go back to the cards here you see this means it succeeded of course the evolved is the same thing because we didn't change it but this is changed if you want to test how it looks in the game what I usually do is with the zoom and everything what I usually do is make a deck which is purely draw and the card I want to test and go against the easy AI so they don't kill me and this saves you a lot of time so next audio now before that leaders are have a lot more cards to see which cards you w need which codes they have going to the wiki on the shadowverse mods subreddit and there is this table with all the leaders and their codes so for example you want to edit pecorin you go princess connect pecorin this is the code so in a you search for the code and it was you gonna have a bunch of card sleeves dialogues but here it is UI class is the sprite itself uh, if you want to remember all the cards easy way here above these are all the cards all the files that govern the leader most of these are just sprites so it's the editing process is exactly the same like a card one of those the UI class code is the sprites which you're gonna need a little more time invested into it because it has all the parts all over the place so I won't show you how the whole modding process however if you open it with unity asset bundle extractor again you do this all jazz and all that's important to you is the again texture these two both govern it you're not gonna need to edit this them both if you want to extract them uh, together just select both plugins export as png select and you're gonna get them here now if we take a closer look at it we can see this is just black and white 
this is with the color these are the actual sprites and body parts let's say you have the hair you have the sword you have the eyes all that stuff you have the skirt this just tells the game where everything is so for example you see how there is no there is no transparency this tells ok take only this here so if you check if you don't change the size so for example the only thing you do is let's say do something like this on the sword you don't have to mess with this file the a because it doesn't change anything if you change however so itself so you want to edit a little something like this you're gonna need to apply those changes here as well uh, other than that everything else is the same the animation good luck changing it I don't know how there is a a program called spine but I don't know much beyond that uh, yeah that's it for leaders make sure you change everything here that applies to your changes uh, it specifies what is what next voice lines so let's say all this stuff I don't need anymore so now you know put this voice files as the play line for whatever card let's say Fita again you're gonna need to go here search for the card Fita and find the code after you find the code go to the shadowverse folder go into V this time and search for the code you have VO the code this time without an extra zero just copy that now again uh -huh. again you want to make a backup in case something goes wrong uh, or you just or you just want to go back after this let's say uh, yeah you made a mod this that but you don't want to play with this mod for whatever reason you can always go back using the backup now for the process itself what you need to do are three thi things Shadowverse Mod Studio sorry Shadowverse Mod Studio is to make PC, PC mods into Android mods if you follow the instructions then all you need to do is put the cards into here give either put in android the original cards from the android version or make a different whole folder with the cards and specify where it is in the android path for a uh, text and run pc to android it's gonna run a little and then after it finishes what you'll have here are the modded cards now if you don't use this program you need to do this whole modding process for the PC with the Android files however this time all the sizes are halved for the Shadowverse audio itself you need Shadowverse audio extract and this thing I'm gonna leave a link to all the of the downloads in the description of the video 
basically this you only need to use if you change part of the voices and you change everything you don't have to bother with it however since I only edit the play uh, the play line in this card I will have to use it so it's a good opportunity as well to show you so first of all to extract all the car all the voice files need audio extract drag the cards into either of those basically they are the same thing only float gives back a more accurate version of the voices it's gonna take a little more time but barely anything Avas doesn't trust it uh, believe me it's alright it doesn't have viruses and stuff Avas is being a little paranoid it happens but it is that's you like two lines you press enter and you have these folders with all the cards all the lines sorry now you're done with the audio extract action you go here you have folder 0 1 and 2 first of all go into 0 take the voiceover I forgot to mention this audio extract make deletes the original file luckily I made a backup so I can just easily take it back notice that it does this so yeah make two copies at least now go into zero select the card your modding and drag it into here gonna tell you press enter that's it now go to one this is the Ternity audio tool you might have heard of it this allows you to add the voice files now the thing is when you go through the zero it corrupts your file it it has to do that so you can mod but if you want to keep some of the lines you need to re-enter them so that's why we extracted them before so you open the voice lines you navigate into the card and you get this usually what the lines are 0 is the play 1 is the attack 2 is the evolve 3 is the death and 5 is any sort of effect so since I wanna edit the 1 the play I'm gonna replace the 1 with the KRG replay and don't loop any of those then just replace everything with the original you see this starts in with 0 and ends with 4 this with 1 through 5 so just put the corresponding 2 will be 3 3 will be 4 and 4 will be 5 after you do th this everything has a duration and frequency you press edit save and exit now in order for the game to be able to read it you go into 2 again drag this into the ACB it runs a little and you press enter and you get this weird folder this is the actual edited version of the file now you only copy it go back to V paste it place and when you go back into the game again 
you're gonna need to pass through a loading screen if you're not in the card menu just entering the card will pass you through a loading screen as you can see so you don't have to actually go out of that menu and you read the lines uh -oh. These are Sorry. All normal. Thank you so much. It's time for one last showdown. And as you can see, the play card, in the play line changed. You like me? It's time for one last showdown. That's it. That's how you edit the game. Uh, good luck with your future months, and have fun.